Here is a really interesting story about Mitt Romney's campaign. Now, you see him piling up all these endorsements, you know, from top public officials on the Republican Party and from some of the conservative organizations, but he's clearly the least conservative of the candidates, or at least uh, the guy who has been least principled in sticking to the conservative line, because when he was running against Ted Kennedy in Massachusetts, he was trying to pretend that he was more liberal than Ted Kennedy. Now, why are conservative organizations or even Tea Party politicians backing Mitt Romney? It doesn't seem to make any sense, right? Well, it does when you find out where the money's coming from. Of course! So, here we go. Uh, first of all, his uh, different PACs have been collecting money on the federal and state levels. And what they've done is they take the money and they give it to those politicians and those conservative groups. And uh, between 2008 and 2012, since you know he knew that he was going to be running for president again, his uh, PACs have made 268 contributions to politicians and uh, conservative groups and to the tune of over half a million dollars. So the next question is, where did it go? Well, one giant donation was $42,000 to Governor Nikki Haley uh, as she was running for governor in South Carolina. And when you look at that, even though she claims to be a strident Tea Party right-wing Republican, she endorsed Mitt Romney uh, during the South Carolina primaries. Shocking. Uh, former Maryland Governor Bob Ehrlich, as he was running for Maryland Governor again, got $6,000 from Mitt Romney. And will you look at that? Endorsed Mitt Romney. Uh, and then Chris Sununu's executive council campaign has gotten $1,000. His dad, John Sununu, has been one of the top uh, representatives of Mitt Romney in the media. Now, I didn't mention one of the names on that list. It's Senator Brownback. Put the list back up for a second. You see him at $2,000? Apparently, he thought that wasn't enough of a bribe, and he endorsed Rick Perry anyway. Okay, he's like, ah, oh, come on. You're going to give Nikki Haley $42,000 and she's a rookie? And I'm a former senator running for governor and you're only going to give me 2,000 bucks? Get, get. I can get better bribes from Rick Perry. So now how about those conservative groups? Well, I mean, come on there. Their whole point is to be as right-wing as possible. They're not going to go with the least conservative candidate, are they? <laughs> Wrong again, Bob. Of course they are. Where's the money? So uh, let's look at these. National Organization for Marriage. These are the people who are against gay rights, gay marriage, etc. Now they took $10,000 from Mitt Romney, all of a sudden big fans of Mitt Romney. $5,000 went to the Coalition for Safe Streets in Boston. Now that is uh, against marijuana legalization and in favor of imprisoning more people smoking marijuana, uh, probably at some point get funded by some prison corporations. They got $5,000 and then wound up being in favor of Mitt Romney. And the last $5,000 went to another anti-gay group, Citizens for Traditional Marriage, who all magically wound up supporting Mitt Romney's campaign. Who could have seen that coming? See, that's how our politics works. You think the leaders of those groups or those politicians care about conservative principles or Tea Party principles or whatever principles they claim to care about? No, they're like, where's the money, Lebowski? And if Romney comes in and he's Lebowski and he's got the money and he says, hey, by the way, uh, you know, I used to be totally against your positions. I'm now pretending to be in favor of your positions. What do you think? They go, we want the money anyway, Lebowski. Okay, and there it is, and that's how politics is played.